Okay, and today I'm going to try and uh, show just a quick um, restful service in spring. I'm going to use a uh, IntelliJ over here, but really you can use anything to do this in. Um, and it really is, I'm going to build it on a, in, uh, a spring MVC, but <coughs> you know, you, you're really just working with, with four files here. A model class, a service class, and two configuration files. But I'm going to use um, uh, IntelliJ just to so it pulls all the libraries for me with Maven, so that I don't have to pull that. So I'm just going to um, call this a uh, Spring Rest, Spring Rest. Oh, uh, sorry, Spring Rest. I will call it there, and I'll call it com dot test. Okay, my class. I'm going to use Java 1.7 or could use 1.6 and I use Tomcat as my application server so this is pretty simple stuff and um, Spring MVC and uh, again the reason why I'm doing that oops um, well seems like a rest full let's call it Spring RESTful Java 1.7 Tomcat 7 uh, could be Java 1.6 doesn't matter com test with soft so I'm gonna go ahead and create that and it's creating a uh, little class here for me. Um, it's creating a skeleton MVC for me. But again, um, I'm really just going to work with four, 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 four files. So inside here, it's created for me a little application uh, and a, and a testing branch. But I'm you know I'm just straight ahead going to go and remove that because else it confuses everything so I'm going to delete that um, under the main branch I see there's a web app um, and I'm going to remove this host controller it installed <coughs> and um, you know I'm not going to show paid so you know I'm not following the MVC here so I end up really with a, a very empty um, very empty th uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, project so um, w with nothing really in it so in, in Vivsoft I'm going to create just a new uh, package and I'm going to call it model and inside there I'm going to create a um, little um, employee class so, um, so I'm going to say new Java class and I'm going to call it employee I think employee something like that I'm going to say wow and um, I'm going to do this. Um, okay, so um, I'll get to the JSON just now, but it's a simple employee. An employee is an ID and a name. Right, so there's a constructor. You can, uh, there's your getters and setters, get int, normal getters, setters. These are not really necessary. That's just your overriding the hash code and the equals and the two string. But, you know, there's a simple little class. So it has this code house thing extra, and um, what that is, it is uh, Jackson, and that that really turns um, uh, um, your it can turn this class into a JSON representation, and that's why this annotation is here. So we have to install this library. So um, if I were to go to project structure, and there's already a little fault there I'm going to remove this one here it doesn't matter but um, so under my libraries you can see all the libraries that it's installed for me um, what I didn't have to do but this is really just a spring framework and JUnit and servlet you know job comments logging but this stuff you can do yourself I'm gonna add this um, uh, um, one extra library in here and that's the Jackson one so uh, let me get that quick. Okay, let me add that quickly. Uh, it comes from Java. And let's see, um, I copied it in there. It's called Jackson. I got using 1.9.11. You can get it from their website. There it is. Um, uh, there seems to be some errors. Uh, we need to fix these and um, add them to my artifact. Nothing serious. It's all done now. Jackson in there, so uh, my annotation works. So there's my my model. This is the guy I'm going to expose or 
of a, of an actual employee. So the next thing is I'm going to a new um, package and I'm gonna call it. Um, oh, let's create it from here. Yeah, new package and it's gonna be com dot soft dot service. Let's just call it service okay and in there I'm going to create a new class and it's going to be called the um, what what do we call that uh, let's just call it the employee service okay so um, let's get that quickly over here so I'm gonna create a new class called employee service and there it is. I'm going to paste this in there, and I'll go through all of this in a, in a few mo mo moments here. Uh, that is, there we go. Model employee, and I'll go through all of that in a few minutes. So, uh, two classes: the actual employee and the actual service. Next thing I'm working with is the web.xml. The standard one I had this in, but I am going to, of course not use the standard uh, um, uh, web XML. I'm going to replace that with my version which is a REST dispatcher. I'm calling it REST dispatcher and that's uh, I'm because I'm using Spring as the framework. That's my servlet and I'm saying it lives off a root. So that's the first thing. So simple as that. And then this guy of course um, by default Spring will look for a file called restdispatcher.servlet.xml. So I have to um, rename this little one quickly. Uh, um, um, refactor rename. So it can't be MVC, it's going to be REST Dispatcher. There we go. So I need content, and I'll provide that again on the site will be that. And uh, my package is com.wifsoft.service. This guy. So simple as that. Here you can see I'm uh, marking um, two main things. I'm marking annotation driven and I'm marking my base service class. Okay. Now moving to the service. So uh, this is the controller. Um, here's my constructor and all I do in my constructor is I'm adding 10 employees okay so um, then I'm creating a uh, a few things I'm creating and 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 this is how it goes for instance there's a request mapping called slash list slash list will um, really look for uh, um, in the headers JSON and it will produce JSON that's what that piece says and it will really just return the employees which is you know it's just a hash table or a hash set of employees pretty simple um, if you were to uh, um, uh, hit maybe um, a put I'm sorry that's a get if I were to put um, an employee ID and this is the ID and I'll show you how that works now um, will accept JSON, will produce JSON, and will consume JSON. Um, so you can go through. Th this is a very simple class, but but the basic idea here is this will say what we're exposing. So we're exposing slash employee ID, meaning a number. Um, the method is a get uh, will uh, produce JSON. So how that turns out is, um, if you were to use a RESTful client like this, um, well, well, first of all, obviously I have to, I have to start this guy, so I'm going to start it up there quickly, <coughs> and um, it's going to build or make. Let's see what happens. And. Let's see if it runs. Okay, there's my Tomcat 7 starting up. So it's going fine. 
and it opens of course by default my browser and um, let's get that in there so my browser is open now the browser is open now so um, I'm just gonna hit the slash and nothing's gonna happen so um, it is called slash employee 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 and there we go so um, there's my employees that were added so it's a uh, zero one to number nine employee nine so there's ten employees so if I were to go slash one there's employee number one now uh, there's employee number two so these are the two get methods right so there's a get method for um, just the root and I think I created one called list also so for that one if we go and look at something like slash list um, it uh, produces JSON so um, and all it does it returns the hashed set employees and and there it is you know so um, that's the list I created another one called HTML list and this one produces text HTML and in here I uh, create a little class and I'm gonna say well put HTML with border with TRs table table so if I were to hit slash HTML list let's go into my browser and um, I'm gonna hit slash not list I'm gonna hit slash HTML list then there's the output so you know that's typically maybe a browser can hit it but now you know how do you <laughs> this is just the get part of it so to go take us a little bit further we can use um, this little thing called um, uh, restful client and here I'm using rested so um, the same thing if I were to hit HTML list there's the output HTML list or if I just were to um, hit um, employee then um, there's the list because it produces JSON so now I'm gonna take this one step further I'm gonna say I am going to uh, put and I'm going to put this let's take this item number one um, and now a put in in the rest world is um, maybe um, a, 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 a update so uh, get is like get put this update post is add and uh, delete is delete so it's the crud type you know uh, update delete rename that kind of thing so um, employee number one and uh, I'm setting the content type telling it that um, the content over here will be uh, um, JSON so I'm saying application JSON that's my content so I'm going to actually do that put now if I go do my list uh, let's um, go do my list again get my list and there we can see employee number one was updated new employee number one okay so uh, um, and of course I can do that for anyone I can say well uh, put um, employee number five and I can say hello number five I can send that in there and if I now go do my list with my get um, of course there's my number five has now been updated of course in the background that can be a database or whatever I'm just using a hash set um, looking at it from a browser perspective if I were to refresh see number one and number five oops <laughs> I put a one in there but any case number one and number five has been updated there. again the little application over here that was there was a get there was a get there was a get there was a put and all that the put did was it looked through them and it updated the ID and the name which it read from a JSON so um, here I'm gonna do a there's a delete well let's try a delete so uh, in my restful client I'm gonna say you know what this uh, let's run a delete and let's run 
the delete on well we don't have to send a custom body in that case let's just say let's just delete number one okay so uh, I send my request and it comes back as a true so um, let's go back to the browser and quickly look at it and uh, the number one's gone right so let's uh, 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 next thing is let's maybe add something let's go uh, and do a post so I'm gonna post to there um, employee again so you know sorry that was the the the, um, the delete part and it just takes employee ID and it looks through it and it finds it then it deletes it so the next one is the post and all it's gonna do is add a new employee so let's look at what post does so I'm gonna say post you know what um, I'm going to add a new custom one I'm going to add a number let's just call that number uh, uh, give it the ID of number 11 and call it employee number 11 uh, something to that effect so that's going to do a post to there and my content type again is JSON if I took my content type off and I tried posting it I get an error back saying hey you're not telling me what uh, what the body looks like so I have to add the content type and say it's going to be JSON so when I send it in it comes back true so if I now go do my little listing over here there's my number 11 I added you know employee number 11 so it's it's really very simple that way uh, I've now shown you can get it you can get a list you can get the list in a different format like HTML if you want you can update it you can delete it and you can add new things so that way you can really build a complete uh, a little application that does everything you uh, do your gets various ways of getting like this one this get produces HTML then there's your a uh, uh, put that's maybe your update and that updates something then there's your delete um, and that deletes something and again you'll see uh, it produces something but uh, delete you know you're not you're not sending anything in you're just sending an ID so you're reading that uh, employee ID so that's who you're gonna delete but a post for instance where you're adding a new one it uh, consumes uh, JSON so it's gonna say hey you need to have a content type uh, of uh, uh, telling me that it's at least JSON you know if I tried uh, doing this post but I set my content type to something else like I'm gonna send you text plain I'm gonna get an error again saying hey I, I don't know what text plane you're supposed to you know I don't support text plane Mike uh, and that is because your code tells it hey you'll support um, um, sorry over here you'll consume JSON so it's very simple um, uh, it, it, it's really uh, not a difficult thing and then like I said there's two little classes and a uh, two um, two uh, 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 files to uh, um, uh, configuration files and there you have it's a restful service um, using the spring framework thank you very